Hey ladies, welcome to episode number 12 of the Health, Life, and More for Women podcast. Today I'm talking about something that I struggled with for many, many years, especially as a new mom. I'm talking about what happens when we have this college degree that we are not using. Let's dive in. Welcome to the Health, Life, and More for Women podcast with certified health and life coach, mom of four, and just all around lover of all things 80s, your host, Jennifer D'Amato. Buckle in, let's get started. Hey ladies, so today's topic is kind of an interesting one, and you may be thinking it doesn't relate to you. But I want you just to kind of stick with me here because you may find that it does. Um, I will tell you, the way my brain works is I just have ideas that float in like all the time. I actually have to have a set place in my notes section of my phone so that I can put them somewhere. Like it'll just come to me all the time. It's kind of crazy. And when this particular idea, this idea of having a college degree that I don't use anymore, um, and and that's kind of a gray area right now because I do feel like as a coach I use it, but there were so many years that I struggled with um, the fact that I had this degree I wasn't using. Anyway, when it came to me, it really did surprise me. Because it's been so long since I've really thought about that. However, it's a discussion that comes up with other women, with other moms. You know, when you're a stay-at-home mom, you know a lot of stay-at-home moms. Um, As a homeschooling mom, I know a lot of homeschooling moms that went to college, have a degree, not necessarily in teaching. Mine is in psychology, though I did do two years to get my teaching certification. So I had that as well. However, in the homeschooling world, there's a lot of women, a lot of moms who are schooling their kids that have a college degree and they're not necessarily directly using it. Anyway, this idea just floated into this space. And I was like, I have to talk about this because I know there's so many women who are directly relating to this topic or there's a version of it that you relate to. So as I sat down to record, and you all know, if you've been listening, (laughs) I'm in my closet. um, And I do have somewhere comfy to sit. It's a recording day. Um, If you're not a podcaster, or YouTuber, um, you may not understand this idea of batching, but it's something that all podcasters, YouTubers um, are doing where we're batching a whole bunch of Um, recordings, audios, all those things for you to be able to release the content in a timely manner without losing our crap all over the place. So I'm batching today. And this episode is on the list of batching. And as I was coming into the closet to be able to record, I, (laughs) I put on my sweater over my shirt because it's a little chilly in the closet. And I looked at my shirt and laughed because I feel like it's so appropriate for what we're talking about and why I believe this topic is relatable, whether college life, you know, having a college degree is relatable to you or not, is it's from my best friend um, for my 40th birthday. She knows how much I love friends. And I I talked about it um, very early on in the podcast about my absolute love for the show Friends that I can sit here and quote lines with you all day. And my favorite line from the entire show, from every season out there, um, from every character on the show, my favorite, it is said so often, is Ross with that damn couch going up the stairs going, pivot, pivot. (laughs) Anyway, I'm wearing the pivot shirt, and it does say it three times, and it says pivot, 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 just like Ross did. Um, She got me this shirt knowing 
Like this is the shirt of all shirts for me. I have a lot of shirts I like, you guys, but this one, this t-shirt right here is the best. And it it made me laugh as I looked down because that's really what I'm talking about on the podcast today is the idea of having to pivot. The idea of of carrying something, right? Like college, like getting a degree or having a certain job, um, having a certain role for so long that you have this weight and picture that couch, the weight of all of it, everything you've put into it, you know, what you paid for it. Oh my goodness. I can't even, the idea of how much I paid for the degree that I have that, you know, picturing Ross in this couch and he paid for and putting it up there and just the idea that you have to pivot and pivoting requires just an entire directional change. Are you picturing the episode? If you guys don't know this episode, you guys need to just pause, get on Netflix, find it, laugh so you can have this imagery. (laughs) But I'm guessing most of you know exactly what I'm talking about. The struggle, the turning, this isn't going the way I thought it was going to go. That is what I'm talking about here. This pivoting, this, okay, I went to school and I created, mm, y'all, I'm telling you, I know there's a number out there somewhere. It's not quite six figures of debt, but it was close. And I had this degree I wasn't using. The first thing that happened after I graduated was I got a job doing social work because what no one told me is if you have a bachelor's in psychology, there ain't crap you're going to do with it except get your master's or do something in social work. Um, Okay. So I did that, which really wasn't a big pivot at the time, and I still felt like I could use my degree. And I would even say very, very, very loosely used my um, college degree in psychology as a fifth grade teacher. That's a story for another day. Um, But I was still doing something that required a college degree. So I felt like, okay, I'm all right. And then I had a baby. I had the most beautiful, wonderful, precious baby Um, That baby is 14 and a half. So 14 and a half years ago, I had this baby and I stopped working. I stayed home. It was a very um, intentional choice that my husband David and I made for me to do that. We also were not dummies. We looked at the cost of childcare for that sweet baby. The money that I was bringing in was pretty much just going to cover the cost of childcare. And we were like, okay, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Let's just stay home and make it work for us. I mean, there were times, you guys, where we were just one vehicle. There were times it was like, how can I stretch this food a little further? Um, Feels like a lifetime ago. However, I stopped using my degree. I went to college, you know, of course, you know, it created debt. I put so much time, so much effort. I put years of work into it and I wasn't using it anymore. And at the time, in those years that followed from having this sweet baby and staying home, which I wanted to do, it really was a struggle. Why did I spend all this money? Why did I put so much into something that I'm not even using? It really started making me question every decision. It started making me question my worth. Now, you might think those thoughts were just thoughts in my own head. But I'll tell you, they were thoughts in my head fed with the opinions and thoughts of others. Oh yeah, at that time, so I'm 25-ish and other people's opinions mattered. Other people's opinions of what I was doing, the idea that I would have this college degree and not use it was like blasphemy. And I heard about it. I heard about it from so many people, those in my family, those 
like on the outskirts of my family, Mm -hmm. you know, and friends, friends who actually were still, they were a mom and using their degree. I was not. And I let those opinions, those thoughts just come in and grow this insecurity I had for myself. I did not understand the idea of pivoting. The idea that you can be going one direction for so long. You have these intentions and these goals in this place you think you're headed. And life goes, wait a minute, we got to turn and go up the stairs and go this way and pivot, pivot, pivot. Like that has to happen. And that pivoting can be a blessing. The idea that I have this degree that I've put all this in there is not in vain. I actually have this pivot that I can stay home, that I can do what I'm doing. And of course, at the time, again, I'm 25. I had no idea that I would actually become a certified health and life coach where I am again using this degree I have. I'm able to tap back into what I know about behavior, tap back into what I know about the brain. I can actually picture myself back in class in Michigan and learning about the benefits of sleep and what it does for your brain and your body, like flashback moments when I'm talking with my clients about the importance of sleep. But like I said, I spent years, many, many years as a stay-at-home mom not using this degree at all. There were no flashbacks to being in class There was just this pain I felt that I somehow wasted all this time, that I wasted all this money, that I poured into something that was no longer relevant. And really, it's because I didn't understand the benefits of pivoting. I didn't understand that what we learn in one season of our life It might not be the textbook learning. It might not be the, you know, 4.0 grade point average type learning that you had. But what we learn in a certain season is the thing that we needed to take with us in the pivot into the next season. So maybe you're a stay-at-home mom and you're wondering, did I waste my time and my money getting a college degree that I don't foresee ever using again? Friend, I just want to tell you the answer is so simple. No. No, you did not waste your money. No, you did not waste your time. But you might need to pivot even your thoughts about what you were supposed to get from that season. You know, and maybe that degree will come in handy somewhere else. I don't know. But what I do know is that you should look beyond what you learned in college, the textbook learning, and take a review back. I have to tell you, there are so many lessons I learned in that season about myself, about what I wanted for my life, about what I wanted for future children, about what I wanted in a relationship, about my personality. Y'all, I need peace and quiet to learn. I just do. How would I have known that had I not spent four years doing that thing and doing well and doing the opposite and not doing well? So I want to encourage you, take a moment, just take a few moments and really look, if you've had to pivot, if you've had to pivot anywhere in life, whether it's looking, going, did I waste all this time and money on college or Did I waste all this time and effort in a job I hated? Did I waste all this time in a relationship that was destroying me, that ultimately I left? Take a look at that season and look back at what lessons you learned, what things you carried into the next season with you that you ultimately may not have gotten had you not done that thing. 
Hey ladies, before we finish this podcast today, I just want to take a moment to tell you, you guys are awesome. I mean, seriously, I have the best listeners out there. And you know what? I would love to be able to share this podcast with so many more women. So if you know someone who would just absolutely love this episode or any of the others, would you just do your girl Jenna solid and share it with them? I love you guys. Let's hop back into talking about pivoting. So maybe you are a stay-at-home mom and you have been struggling with this idea because you went through college, you have this degree, and you find yourself at home, which you love, but maybe you struggle with, was it a waste of time? I hope that today you're seeing, that you're hearing, that you're starting to believe it absolutely was not a waste of time. That even if you never use that degree again, that there are other things, other lessons that you learned in that time that you absolutely still use. I know it's true for me. Whether I use anything from my degree in psychology ever again, I know the things I learned outside of the classroom, I carry with me each and every day. Honestly, they shaped me. They made me who I am. And going through that pivoting season also helped me to become the woman I am today. You know, I'm glad I'm not the 17-year-old starting college. I'm certainly glad I'm not the 25-year-old with the first baby losing her crap all the time. I am glad, though, that I went through those seasons, that each one brought a different place to pivot. And I hope you feel that way, too. That's all for today, ladies. So glad to spend this time with you. Until next time. Hey, ladies. Want to connect with me outside of this podcast? Come follow along on Instagram at Jennifer underscore health coach for life. That's Jennifer underscore health coach, the number four life. You can also connect with me on Facebook. Just search Jennifer coach, the number four life. I also want to help you take your health, both physical and mental to the next level. I want you to feel empowered. I want you to reclaim your body's intuition. If that's for you, and you're ready for support and accountability like you've never had before, then why not book a free consultation with me by visiting my website, www.healthcoachforlife.com. That's www.healthcoachthenumber4life.com slash request session. I've also made it really easy by including a link in the show notes below. For any questions about the podcast or to submit a question or topic you would like discussed here, you can email me at jenniferdamatopodcast at gmail.com. 